Got to show off our new piece of equipment here. We got this because uh, we needed a vehicle to transport tools and materials from our equipment when it's staged in the field to the work truck. So picked this up at auction, got a pretty good deal on it. Came with a toolbox and a helmet, four-wheel drive. Um, two of the axles can come off, actually, and you can use it as like a motorcycle. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I'll let you guys know how this works out, but uh, I think we got to got a steal on that. All right, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joe, and this is Pathfinder Excavating. Today we got the Bobcat E26. I got the hydraulics locked, and um, I got it rested up here on these sawhorses. I'm not sure what else to do uh, for safety because you got to kind of get under here without taking every single tooth off the bottom. Um, so we're going to sharpen some teeth today. I'm going to take the outside ones out, the quadco style, take them over here to the vise and use the flap wheel to sand them down and I'll kind of explain um, so far what I've learned about these teeth. Uh, if you guys have experience doing uh, maintenance on these quadco style teeth and these uh, bottom teeth here, let me know in the comments um, and what I could and do, do to improve my process here or if I'm doing this completely wrong, not sure. Uh, the videos I watched were on these teeth, so let's dig into it, and then uh, we'll head over to Mike's and uh, move a tractor for him. Right, I don't know if you can see that or not, but that's the outside tooth. It's getting worn down. Got to sharpen this inside edge of them. Got a forestry mulching job tomorrow. I hit some concrete the last job, so... This will be the first time I've ever really sharpened these. I just have a 120 grit flap wheel disc and the videos I watched they said you just kind of reshape it and you just want it flat so we'll try it. So we're just trying to flatten this edge out. That's it. All right, here's an example of a bad one. It's starting to cup in. So you want to take that flap wheel disc and flatten these out. Not too much though. Just maintain that sh the shape that it's in. And that will naturally sharpen these edges here. So the tooth sits on the disc like this. This would be the outside. So this was the bottom edge. You can see that it's a lot worn. A lot more worn. So essentially you can rotate that tooth two times and have two clean edges. All right, welcome back to Pathfinder Excavating. My name is Joe. In this video, today we uh, hauled a tractor over here to Mike's place. You guys met Mike on the firewood videos from the winter time, but he just picked up this New Holland tractor. It's a New Holland 2120. What year did they say it was? 1999. 1999. It's a 2120? Yep. Nice. Then use it here on the farm back in the woods. Tell us a little about it, Mike. What do you know about these tractors? It's about a 40 horse tractor. It's similar to a Ford. It's got four speed on the gear shift and it's got four ranges. So what is that? 16 speeds. Came with grapple? Came with a grapple, uh, the 
six foot bucket, uh, forks. And forks. Forks for moving hay. It was on a horse farm. Yep. Got the rear PTO and he's got the rear remotes where the grapple plugs in, so that's going to be nice. It's in good shape. Couple little hydraulic leaks, but nothing major. No. It's a little there, which could just be could just be a fitting it's loose it's coming right down these hard lines too so and they upgraded it to a quick connect too yeah which is nice we got the grapple strap strapped in here don't hurt yourself i'll be over to help you and it looks like you might need some welding more welding done yeah and that could help support me in the winter time so we'll the bucket, I, after I pressure wash it off and get all the horse crap off, it will be able to see better. Yeah. All right, right what am I going to expect when I back up? Is it, just go slow. You know, same same effect when you fold on. It's not too bad. It's subtle, but okay. you do want to lift this up because we don't want to hit them fenders. Yep. So start it up, and I'll, I'll guide you down. We're free. little tractor. Oh, he's happy as a clam. That's good. He needed a bigger tractor. We'll show you the small one he's got that he's been trying to move firewood logs around with. This will help him a lot. Get some rear ballast for it to be in good shape. 3000 bucks. Can't beat it. All right, strike a pose. <laughs> All right, well, that's going to wrap up this video. I got to drop this uh, chipper off to my buddy Al. We're uh, cleaning out our rental property, and this was in the back barn. He's going to try to fix that. But Mike's happy as a clam. He's got a new tractor, and I'm sure you'll see more of him and the tractor on the channel as we do some repairs to it. So thanks again for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear you, hear from you, and we'll see you on the next video. Got a bomb shelter in there, Mike.